Hi there. We're going to show you how the top private browsers store data on your computer when you browse the web. This is automatic. You don't have a choice on this. Okay. We're going to take the Firefox browser, Edge, and Brave. We're going to show you in real time. We're going to split the screen. So you're going to see the browsing session on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you're going to see my computer, my C drive, and the data that is being stored on it. We're going to clear the browsing session before each one so you can see we're starting out fresh. And then finally, we're going to show you a way that you can be completely private and secure when you browse the web. No data can get on your device. So let's start with by showing you our C drive here. And then we're going to start with the Firefox browser. Now, to find the data, we go to Users, My Name, in your case, whatever you named your computer, my name's Scott, App Data. And we click local. We look for Mozilla. Uh, Mozilla owns Firefox. There's Firefox. We click profiles. Now you're going to look for the one that's most recent. In this case, it would uh, today 317. We click on that. We click cache two. Then we click entries. Okay. You see here we have 21 items that have been stored on our computer from our last browsing session. So we're going to actually going to magnify that in a second so you don't have to keep looking. Well, it'll be blown up so it's a lot easier to see. So first, in order to delete the, the uh, data, we have to exit out of the browser. You can't delete it until the browser is uh, uh, done with. So we exit out and we click this and we're going to click delete. Okay, zero items. We fire up the Firefox browser. And you can see as soon as you fire it up, 16 items are already stored, okay, just from opening the browser. We're going to go to the, the number one private search engine. You noticed we already had data stored. We haven't even gone to DuckDuckGo yet. So we're going to go there. Okay, look at that. Look how many items just popped up. That's your private search engine. Not so private, is it? Okay, now we do this. We search for something embarrassing but not offensive. Okay, and you can see the items continue to pile. And we're going to go down here to WebMD because it's a major site. Um, this is what the average Joe would go to. And you can see massive, massive, almost 200. It's still going. 300 items are coming in just from visiting this one website. That is how bad this quote private browser really is. That is how much data is getting on your device. Now, we're going to do the same thing with Edge, Microsoft's Edge browser. So we'll fire up Edge. Okay, and now over here on the same thing, we've got to find it in our C drive. So you go to C drive, same thing, users, my, your name of your computer, then we go to app data, local, then we look for Microsoft, it's Microsoft's browser. Then we click Edge, where's Edge? Here it is, Edge, user data, default, and cache. Okay, 152 items is what was stored from our last browsing session. Now, once again, we need to close out the browser in order to delete the stats. So we close out the Fire, or, uh, Mozilla's, uh, sorry, Microsoft's Edge. And we're going to select all of that data and we're going to delete it. Now it's still on your computer even though you're deleting it because it's in your recycle bin. Any good tech forensic guy can find it. Okay, so we have zero items. We're going to open up the Microsoft Edge browser again. And here comes the data. All right, we just opened the browser and we have 49 items stored on our computer. Just opening it. So watch that, 49, we're going to go to DuckDuckGo. Okay, and there's data being stored just from going to a private search engine. Do the same private search again. And you keep an eye on that. Okay, and then we're going to go, same thing, down to WebMD. And you can see the items come pouring in here. Not as bad as Firefox, but still 94 items. You, there are 94 items on your computer 
just from visiting two sites, what DuckDuckGo and WebMD. That's how bad this is. Okay, finally we're going to go do Brave. Okay, first we need to, we're going to open up Brave just to show you how many items there are and we'll clear it. Okay, so we go to C Drive and we go to Users. You're getting the pattern here now. App Data, Local, and we look for Brave Software, Brave Browser, User Data, Default, and then we go down here and scroll for Cache. Where are you, Cache? There you are. Okay, 45 items. That was the last uh, from our last browsing session. Once again, we delete, we have to close out the Brave Browser in order to delete all the data. So we X out of the Brave Browser and we highlight them all and we delete. Okay, zero items. All right, now we fire up the Brave Browser and firing up, we have five, five items already stored. Same thing, this should be less because they do block some cookies and trackers, but you can see even going, just going to a private search engine, data is stored on your computer. We'll do the same search, and you can see more items, and then we go to WebMD, this is all the same exact searches and sites, and you can see items are being stored. Now, Brave is better. They, uh, they block a lot of cookies, but you can see it didn't block the data being stored when you went to a private search engine or the fact that you did a search on a private search engine. So now, we've just shown you the top three sites, or top three browsers, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Brave. How they automatically store data on your computer when you browse. How do you get around this? It's easy. Instead of the browser running on your device, we run it in the cloud with a browser called Trace Free. Let me show you now how you can surf without any data getting on your device with Trace Free. Okay, now we're going to show you an easy way to surf the web without any data getting on your device to be completely private and secure. This is a little different because the browser is actually not on your computer. So we have to show you in a different way. So we're first, we're going to go to Users, and Scott, same thing, App Data, Local, we Trace Free, and you'll see in here, there's a one kilobyte file. That's tiny, okay? All this is saying is that someone, in this case on 315, at 934, used Trace Free. That, that's all the data that's in this file. That's it. There's no browsing history. There's no data, no cache, no cookies, nothing. Okay? So, bear with us. We're going to open up Trace Free, and because it's a virtual browser, we have to kind of open the browser and kind of wiggle it over. So, bear with us here. We open up Trace Free. And keep in mind, this is a virtual browser, so it's really not on your computer. It's, we're running it virtually, so you're just seeing a screen. It's all you're seeing when you use Trace Free. It takes about six to eight seconds because you're connecting to a server where the browser is, okay? So, okay, got it. Now, bear with me. I need to kind of wiggle this in a little bit here. Uh, come on, okay. This is, it's a little wonky, but it's because it's virtual. It's not really on your computer. So, do you remember how it was 3.15 at 9.34 in the morning? Well, the only data that came up is that I just opened this, 2.35 on 3.17. One kilobyte, and you'll notice down here, one item, okay? Now, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We'll go to DuckDuckGo. You can keep your eyes on that one item because it's not gonna change, okay? because there's nothing touching your device. You're, you're surfing on our server, not on your computer. We'll do the same exact search. You'll notice it stays at one item, and this is kind of funky because it's, it's distorted, but I'll just click on anything, and it'll just, it won't, it's not gonna show you anything. See, there's nothing there, because nothing is happening on your computer. The browser is not on your computer. So. We've learned the top three sites, or top three browsers, Firefox, Edge, and Brave, run on your computer. 
store data automatically. You're not private and you certainly aren't secure. But when you use Trace Free, the browser runs on a server in a cloud, nothing gets stored on your computer. There's no history, cookies, cache, and you can't get a virus. Do you see how Trace Free is truly a private browser?